What up, y'all? Today, we're going to be taking a look at Phantom Blade Zero, which is a game that's being made by S Games, a studio that's based in China, I believe. And what I'm going to do is similar to what I did with Black Myth Wukong, take a look at it, figure out exactly what the game mechanics are, as well as trying to see if I can get a good idea as to how the structure of the game is going to be. Now, there's a little bit of information that I did find out about the game just pre-recording. One of the main things is that most people are declaring that the game is going to be semi-open world. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these things. A quick tangent before we move on over to the gameplay trailer. I found this article for Phantom Blade Zero. The CEO and founder of S Game, So Flame Liang. I hope I'm saying your name right. If I'm not, I apologize. He basically goes through how he got started in game development. And originally he used to work in Game Maker back in 2010, and he made a game called Rain Blood Town of Death. For those of you that don't know what Game Maker is, it's pretty much a game engine that you could use to make JRPGs in the style of like, think of old school Final Fantasy or more particular, because I believe to get it to look like the old school Final Fantasy, you gotta add a few add-ins or create a few ruby scripts or lua scripts think of it more like the old school dragon quest game so he used to use it back when he was studying architecture back when he was in beijing so he then created the studio in china and essentially phantom blade zero is a spiritual successor to the first game that he created back in 2010 in rpg maker called rain blood and he's continuing it on he essentially calls it a kung fu punk that actually makes sense when you think about the way that the sword style is or any of you out there that are like me that had a pop that love to watch old kung fu movies like Jet Li, uh, Fist of Legend, or uh, what was the drink called? It was like Black Bass or something like that. I can't remember the exact name of it, but it was one where like it was a guy that was wearing like kind of a Zorro like hat, a mask, and he would go around as a superhero beating the crap out of people with his hands. They had two different versions of it. One Jet Li was in, and then you know another or um, the. Drunken Fist, I believe, is the one with Jackie Chan. Like, kind of like those type of movies a little bit. Except this one, you're using swords and then they're conveying different powers within the universe. But for the most part, it's a amalgamation or a combination of Kung Fu and Steampunk. And they're using that to combine that into the game. And that's why the game looks as dynamic and as action-packed as it does. because Again, as I said before, if you look at especially this right here, this reminds me of like, uh, what was the name of that movie that, uh, Fearless. This reminds me of Fearless, where uh, Jet Li was using like the, the flat sword that kind of bend it again, that a lot of actually wushin, wushin material use. This is heavily reminiscent of that. And I think it looks pretty dope. I thought this is pretty good. I'm gonna leave this article in particular in the description in case you wanna go through and give it a read. It is about a year and some change old, but it'll give you a good idea as to the idea or the initial idea and direction that the founder is thinking about as he's creating this game. It is a spiritual successor of a previous game. Dark and bleak visuals is, is pretty much the theme. That's what they're going for. And to be honest with you, I just want to see them have their dream come to fruition because there are a lot of developers out there, especially in the indie scene, that they start out with a small idea that expands into something grandiose. And it's just a joy to see when that happens. And remember, we got Stella Blade this year. I thought that was a fantastic game. This turns out to be anything like Stella Blade. We as gamers, we win. I just wish the game would also come out for Xbox Series X, but my PlayStation 5 is right there. I'll be ready to play. Let's go ahead and move on over to the gameplay trailer. This is The Blade is Drawn. That sounds, that sounds dope as I don't know what. The Blade is Drawn? Oh, no. <laughs> Yo, why you, why you double me? <laughs> Even kind of got the little beats there too. Oh, also a key thing that I probably didn't mention and so flame. I'm mad. That's actually your last name though. You got a dope last name, uh, but so flame. He, he mentioned that, uh, pretty much you play as a character named soul. You've died, 
and pretty much there was this cure that uh some sort of individual had created to bring you back to life and now you have 66 days in order for you to accomplish something now it didn't go that deep into it at least not that i can remember And he says it right there too. How many days do I have left? Don't, don't go up there. Turn back before it's too late. But pretty much the cure gives him 66 days to live. That's fire! Hold up, 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 we got HUD. We got HUD. Hold up, bring that back. So one attack, two attack. Okay, so this is a this is a, a a scripted sequence right here. So the first attack was like the player actually probably hitting the X or triangle, and then after that, it's like the kill animation. All right, all right, I'll fill it. Okay, and then okay, so yeah, and then the finisher uh button is right there, so you can finish that enemy, and then it also looks as though if you look right here. It seems as though that might be stamina or posture, or maybe the top one is stamina and posture and the bottom one is health because one is more depleted than the other. So I think I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the top bar is stamina or, or poise. Kind of think of like Sekiro, think of like, um, uh, El well, Elden Ring doesn't have a meter like that. Think of like Stellar Blade, cause Stellar Blade has a poise meter in it as well. Like the lower icons that you see under the boss health. Or yeah, under the boss health, cause I don't think you can see it on the enemies. But yeah, so, all right. Okay, that's a boss fight. No, I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. Hold up. Yeah, cause as he's hitting, is he hitting the enemy exactly? Okay, no. So this meter is the poise. Then why did that one have a finisher on him? We'll we'll figure out more as we go. Yeah, cause then right there he got the finisher when that dropped. Oh, it replenishes fast as hell. Okay, I ain't peeped that at first. Cause he broke it and then it came right back up. Alright, yeah. So I take it once it get back to full, the triangle will go away. And it looks as though, like, similar to Sekiro, like, if I go back, similar to Sekiro, if you look at, like, those deflects that he just did, that's a nice sword. Like, you see that deflect, how it affected the poise, or the poise just lit up like that? I think it'll have something similar to that going on. Hey, yo! Hey, yo, that's fire! They made the girl from the Kingsman in a joint? If y'all know, Kingsman is like one of my favorite action movies. Uh, the first one, the first one, the first one with Samuel L. Jackson. Love that movie. Especially the scene in the church. Cinema. <laughs> but, but they made the girl with the blaze. Hold on, no, she actually got her legs. Never mind. She's, she's unique. I like that, like the action sequence. J Dancer. Ooh, that's fire. Actually, now that I think about it, there's a game that does this the same way this does. And if y'all find a way to do it better, because that's one of my favorite games of all time. I, I need to double check. So that's after the, the QTE. Then you go into this. This is more so like you hitting a button, getting in, you hitting a button, getting in, you hitting a button, getting in. You're spamming against her. Either you're spamming against her or this is scripted. Because you won that QTE. I swear to God, if y'all took inspiration from Fury for this, you're going to be my game of the year. You're going to be my game of the year. Because the action already looks fantastic. 
and it's the 2024 world tour demo yeah and so they already showed all of this stuff at game fest and they're going to be in china joy or shanghai uh cologne i think that's cologne germany right so gamescom then tokyo game show tokyo i'm gonna I'm watch this one i'm definitely watching this one bro <laughs> oh my god it looks sick so like this so much but we got to move on to that 10 minute uh that 10 minute gameplay but there's just so much just to look at. They gave you a lot for you to analyze. One of the key things is there's ranged combat, which a lot of games that are moving towards that action RPG space or that I like to call it the Neo space. It's not necessarily a Souls-like, but it's more so an action RPG with Souls-like elements. Or as Flintlock might, 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 might want to call it a Souls-like. So it's showing you that it has ranged combat. It's showing you that it has posture-based action. So there are chance for you to constantly, or for you to get in on enemies that block a lot. All you got to do is break their poison, and you could get off an attack that'll do major damage. So I like that. There are also instances of different weapons because we've seen him using pole arms. We've seen him using different types of swords. He also got a sword upgrade that we saw, which was pretty much that demon-like weapon that he was looking at. I'm trying to see if I could find it. I might not be able to, but look fantastic. You could also like use different plugs. You could deflect wave attacks or projectile wave attacks, which I think is pretty dope. There's just so much that they give you in this one trailer. There's a ton of parkour here as well with you doing wall runs, with it being more action-based, a little bit of that Ninja Garden, a little bit of that Metal Gear Rising. I respect it heavily. And on top of that, it gives you the premise behind the game in the initial opening with letting you know, hey, how long, how many days do I have left? 44 or 42, XX, blah, blah. You know, I, I, think, I, think, that's, I think that's dope. It, it, it gave us enough. Now. Let's go ahead. I need to like this. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So this is going to be sequenced gameplay without it changing. Environments look good. Reversal up the wall, so sprint by one. I'm noticing a bit of oddities with the with the foliage as well as the movement of the character but other than that seems fine got some combos for days though oh my god those combos and then switch to same when hit the target with two combos. Yup, and there you go. That was what? That was what? I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I'm I'm analyzing this for myself, and you know, you guys are along with me. I want to know what I'm getting myself into. So it looks like two different weapons. So the first weapon. It's the Shachi. And then the second weapon is the Sanguine. That is cool. Yeah, so most definitely the white bar is the health bar. And then that's the Tiger Cannon. Yeah, that's the one that we saved on the website. That looked right with flush. You can switch to the bow. So you get a Tiger Cannon and a bow. So your two methods of range combat. And it just looks so dynamic and snappy. Focus on concentration. Okay. So it's guard. And you have your posture down there. Oh, they call it Sha Chi. Okay, so that's what they call it. All right. I'm about to look up what Sha Chi means. Oh my God. The combos, the relentlessness of it. The back step, side step. Yeah, this get that's this gives Ninja Garden vibes. 
Ninja Gaiden. <coughs> with a some elements of Sekiro, but mostly Ninja Gaiden. Oh, that looks clean. He cut that man's Achilles too. So that's a killer move. Ghost. Oh, that's that's tough. Hold up, but I I don't I didn't see what that consumed. I know my camera is also in the way. I apologize for that, but I'm not moving it. Um, that's cool. So I can see it here. So he has a sword. He has the so he has the sanguine, and he also has the long sword. Then he has the tiger cannon and the dragon blade. What I want to know is what did he consume when he did that killer move, ghost step? So you get a brutal move, and then you get a killer move. So for the brutal move. Pray at the right time. Oh no, you don't consume anything. It's it's a reward. Both of them are rewards. Yeah, both of them are rewards. No consumption. <coughs> that's fire. So that's your reward for doing the perfect parry, and one is your reward for doing the perfect step. Actually, that reminds me a little bit of uh, Tamisha, but I'm, I'm not sure if he, he ever played Tamisha, but that, that's kind of cool. So I'm seeing elements of a lot of games that I've played, some Souls likes, a lot of action adventure or, you know, action games, hack and slash, if you will, with Ninja Gaiden, but this is, this is fire. Whatever year this comes out, I got a feeling this is gonna be a game of the year contender. I'm, I'm, I need to see more though a little bit. How how many enemies actually will be on the screen for you to fight against? Good assassination, respect. Ooh, and he he powered that thing, and it takes a ton of your shot chi when you use when you use that attack. Took about half when he did that. At least I think. I think he's just observing the path. Look, the Lord Jank, but I don't think you could fix like aerial assassinations like that. Just for enemies. Okay, so not Ninja Gaiden level of enemy saturation or Metal Gear Rising, but I'd say it's kind of similar to a Souls like with the amount of enemies that they have on the screen at once, or not Souls like, but Neo like. Which I respect. I will say that China might wind up creating their own game genre after both this and Black Myth Wukong release. Or at least that's what it seems like. Because I'm seeing some similarities between this and Black Myth. Uh, with the exception being the transformation system in Black Myth Wukong and the spell system. But this one is heavily deflection based. It does seem like it's heavily Kung Fu. God dang, how much damage did that do? Drink did like a... They're like a cool eighth. Cool eighth. And he did it again. I ain't gonna lie, that's kind of broken. <laughs> I don't even think that was an eighth, though, boy. I think that was that was closer to a sixth. Yeah, and there you go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to see that again, brother. Need to see that again, brother. Ooh, that finisher. Mm. That's game. That's game. 
I was about to call y'all game signs for a second. Y'all, y'all need to figure that out, both of you. But as game, y'all might got something here. You know how many styling compilations people gonna create playing this game? <laughs> y'all might got something here. <laughs> Especially if the rest of the weapons are have as much fluidity as the the current two. Uh, that we're seeing the long sword and the dual blades. Yeah, it's a bit chopped right there, but it's fine. Especially the way dude popped out of the tree, but it's fine. You're not going to be able to get everything perfect in this chuck. You guys first game. Oh, I was. Here, I was wrong. I thought that was his weapon. I, I thought that was our weapon. I apologize. I was wrong. Commander Cleave. <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You better beat the mess out of CC. Oh, oh. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, I see how that works. That's a good way to, to stop the recharge. All right. Ooh, good. Good back slap, good back slap. Make sure you get them ankles. Get them ankles. Get them ankles. Clean. Uh, you took a hit to give a hit. I can respect it. You're fighting like Javante Davis right now. Yeah, knock him out though. Good, 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 good. Get in there. Get in there. Take the mankles. Take the mankles. You gonna let him pimp slap you like that with the sword? I'm noticing your health ain't going down that much though. Okay, this might be because you're blocking. Did you just cut through a slash? Oh, look at that again. Okay, you did that. And then what, what did you do? No, you stopped it. Okay. I was about to say, that's kind of tough. Big blocks. Uh, good step. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I like it. I like it. Do you get his weapon? Nah, they ain't gonna let us know. Oh no, he did get his weapon. Never mind, I take back me being wrong. I was right. Yay me. <laughs> that weapon looked tough though. Where's my pyramid head in here? Oh, this one gonna be tough. Look like you fighting against the penitent one. Off of blasphemous. The sunken pillar of Oh, so are we in uh, God Valley? Ooh, 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 style on him. Style on him. That is a treasure. That is a sight to see that you can actually knock down bosses in this. Like, they're not super poised up or anything like that. You know, they're kind of human. Ooh. What's the move there? I haven't really seen him take a sip yet. What are you trying to do? Oh, you wanted to show that off. I see you. You botched it a couple of times, but we, we, we see you, though, my boy. We, we see you. Ooh. Ooh, burn that man. The block, the block, the block, the block. 
Hit him with the wall run again. We need to take a sip, though. No, no, y'all need to take a sip. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> we need to take a sip. I ain't gonna lie, that, that's that's cold, man. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Um, the vibes I'm getting from the game, though, thus far is this seems like it's it's taking a lot of inspiration from a lot of different places, like it's plucking. But this seems as though it's uniquely itself, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, the HUD kind of reminds me of Neo, like hands down, the HUD reminds me of Neo. Um, even if I remove my camera for just a split second so that you can see that that's, that's what it looks like on the right side, but for the most part, and as well, the, each video that we went through is going to be in the description below, but for the most part, the, this, this is heavily reminiscent of Neo in terms of the UI the battles themselves from the posture as well as uh the rewards that you get for your perfect parry and your perfect step which i think are brilliant stellar blade i think is the first action rpg souls like but not really a souls like game that i've seen utilize uh rewarding the player or those type of things well um outside of Sekiro of course but Sekiro you mostly got to wait for the boss to finish to attacking before you can actually get some of those counters in unless you want to risk it for the biscuit and you know do a particular art but with this I like that the de the step the perfect step gives you an opportunity of attack by allowing you to step behind the enemy Freezing time as well and allowing you to get that hit in to continue your chain of combos. The enemy does have an opportunity to recover so that it can block some of your attacks, but in return of blocking those attacks, it loses poise or shachi as it's called. Um, as for everything else, I'm, I'm excited for this. I'm excited about the concept. I'm excited about the gameplay. I'm excited about the theme as well as the, the Kung Fu Punk aspect of the game i think it's working very well the world looks interesting it looks good there are some environmental issues that i'm seeing just in video but it could be the compression rate of the video itself so those are probably clear up by the time it's actually launched on each platform being ps5 and pc i'm excited to see how this game does i know i'm getting it day one what do you guys think how do you feel about the game let me know down in the comment section below and i'll catch you all next time till then deuces